Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. So today is my off day from any real, real heavy work. Uh, it's my off day from my, my core classes, my core boot camp, boot camp classes. Uh, so I, I come in here sometimes uh, when it's quiet, when no one's here in my gym, and I get a little working on my own uh, with my own thoughts. All right, so today I'm doing a simple uh, jump rope and ab circuit. Okay, four ab exercises. Before each one, I'm going to do 125 jump ropes, right? So it's a, it's a four-station uh, round with hanging abs, uh, decline, sit-ups. What's up, Mark? Ooh, my kicker. That's my kicker right there. Uh, incline sit-ups or decline sit-ups with the medicine ball. Then I'm going to do mountain climber abs with the sliders and then end off with some ab rollouts, all right? But before each one, I do some jump ropes, right? It's a good way to get some cardio in. It's a good way to give your abs rest in between each station. So I did one round on my own. I did one round, round two. I did on uh, Instagram Live a minute ago. Now I decided to come on this platform on Facebook Live and do round three, three or five, all right? So I'm going to start off with some jump rope, all right? 125 jump rope. That's, that's the first thing I do in this, in this circuit, okay? So I'm going to talk to you guys throughout, but I'm trying to count when I'm doing this, so I might be quiet uh, as I'm working out, and then I'll come back to you guys, all right? So 125 jump ropes first. Here we go. Hundred and twenty-five. All right. So now I'm gonna do maybe the hardest of the of the four exercises. All right. I'm gonna do hanging abs. Hanging abs. So we have the stirrups up there. All right. I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna try to hit fifty without stopping. All right, Rose. Hey, Rose. Hey, Riz. So I'm gonna try to hit fifty uh, hanging abs without stopping. Okay. Here we go, 50, five zero, five zero. You guys counting at home? You counting? That was 50, all right. So that might be one of my favorite and least favorite for abs because, because it worked the whole gamut of the abdominal cavity, right? Anytime you bring your legs to your body, like leg raises, like knees, knees to elbows, like hanging abs, when you bring your legs toward your body, it's lower abs. Right, when you bring your torso, right, toward your lower body, that's upper abs, right? So when you do a hanging abs and you crunch down with it, as you bring your legs up, it's the upper and the lower, right? But many people go slow, real slow and deliberate, which can be good, right? But when you go fast and try to prevent yourself from swaying, your inner core is forced to stabilize you. Right, so when you go quickly, not only do you get your heart rate up and get a little, little uh, glycogen burning, a little cardio, 
but you also work your inner core, right? That's stabilizing you from swaying. So you get upper, lower, and inner core in one exercise, right? That's why I love it, okay? So I did 125 jump ropes, 50 hanging abs. Now I'm back to jump ropes. Remember, every, every exercise for abs is preceded by jump rope, right? 125 jump ropes. Here we go. Over again. All right, guys, so 125. What's up, LC? That's my boy from way back when, from way back when. He knows how we do it. So now we're going to do weighted sit-ups. All right, guys? Weighted decline sit-ups. See that? All right, so this is going to be really good for your core and your torso, lower back. All right, so I'm going to do 20 of these. 20 of these, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Long levers are harder. Short lever is easier. Long lever, come back. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Eight pounds here, guys. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. Now you make it a little harder, guys, if you want, but go into the side a little bit. So we can go, we can go there, 11. We can go here, 12. We can go here, 13. We can go here, 14. We can go here, 15. We can go here. 16, that's a bleach, a bleach. 17. 18, woo. 19, woo. 20, woo. 20. So the key, what's up, guys, what's up? So the key with all these exercises, guys, is to pick a number that challenges you. Right, that you can do in one, in one sitting or one round without stopping, but that challenges you. I can very easily just do five and stop, five and stop. That's easy. What I want to do is a number that getting to that number is challenging without stopping. All right? So we're back here again, jump rope. 125 again. 125, 125. Here we go. Next one up, next one up, we're gonna do slider mountain climbers, okay? So, you can buy these things, guys, at Home Depot. Home Depot, furniture sliders, right? You can buy them from a fitness store for double, right? What's up, Craig? For double, 
but you can buy them at a, at a, at a Home Depot or a uh, Lowe's for half the price, all right? So I'm gonna do mountain climbers with the sliders, all right? So I'm gonna do 40 each leg, 4-0 each leg. Here we go, hips are up, right? Make sure the levers for your legs are long. Don't shorten it and do all this crap. Long levers, get the whole extension, the whole range of the abdominal cavity. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hips are up, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Woo! All right. 40 each leg, guys. 40 each leg. Hips are up, right? Full range of motion. Hey, Pro Fool. What's up, buddy? All right, so last jump rope before the last abs. All right? So once again, 125, All right, guys, so I'm real anal about my abs, oh, sorry, about my, uh, my counts, my numbers. So if I, if I miscount, if I stop inadvertently for some dumb reason, like I just did at 100, I'll, I'll go back several and make sure I get the requisite amount of reps. All right, so now my last one, guys, last one. I'm going to do, I'm going to do rollouts, ab rollouts. All right, these are challenging. These can be challenging for people. Okay, because they work the core, right? The whole torso, lower back as well. Okay, you're trying to go out flat. Okay, flat. Okay, when you come up, bring your whole cavity, chest cavity and core up at the same time. All right, many people, they'll pop their butt up when they come up. That's bad for your lower back. So try to come up like you're a cat. Come up with your whole torso together. Go out. Whole torso up together, all right? So 15 of these. So last one, guys, last one. You guys see the whole range? I'll move this. There we go. Last one, guys, last one. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. So, a recap. A recap. 
We did 125 jump ropes, right? 125 jump ropes. Then we did 50 hanging abs. Then we did 125 jump ropes. Thanks, Prafu. Appreciate it, buddy. Then we did 20 weighted decline sit-ups, eight-pound medicine ball. All right. Then back to 125 jump ropes. Right, then we did 40 each leg on the uh, ab slider mountain climbers. I'll send you guys a link uh, to buy some of these sliders. They're cheap, all right? And then we did 125 jump up again before every exercise, and then we did 15 ab rollouts, right? So that's, that's one round. I'm doing five of those. I did one warm-up. I did one round on Instagram Live. What's up, David? I did, and now I did one round here. Okay, on Facebook Live, I'm doing the last two by myself, guys. Right, y'all, y'all, y'all messing my workout up. <laughs> I'm gonna do one, two rounds by myself. When it's all said and done, okay, it's gonna be 200. I'm sorry, 2,500 jump ropes, 250 hanging abs, right? 100 inc- decline weighted sit-ups, okay? 200 mountain climber abs with the sliders, and then 75 ab rollouts, right? Good day off workout. This is my day off for, from heavy training. So I come in here, you know, get a little downtime for myself, listen to some, some T.D. Jakes or some Stephen Furtick or some slow jams when I train um, and just let my mind kind of get right, all right? So I do that. Um, you know, jump rope gives you a little cardio. Um, I fast longer on these days, my days off. Uh, let my body tap into the G-Tank stores. Uh, hey, Angelina. Uh, so it's, it's critical that you guys have a plan of attack, right? So this is my plan of attack for my abs. Remember, abs, ab work, sit-ups, crunches, all those side twists, they don't make your abs show, guys, right? They make your abs look good once they do show, but you have to develop a strategy, have a strategy for emptying out your body's stores of glycogen, right, and forcing it to tap into the fat stores. That's the only way to get rid of that fat layer, right? Having a core that's tight and strong is important. So the ab work is important for that, right? And it's important once your, once your abs do show, once the fat layer is gone, they'll look good. But remember, we have to do measures, right? Uh, depletion of the G-tank, fasting, burning through glycogen. We have to do things that get rid of that layer, all right, and burn fat. Other way, otherwise, you're just building muscle under a fat layer and you'll never see them, all right? So if you have questions about any of that, Please feel free to comment or, or, or direct message me um, or email me, whatever it is. But let me know if you guys need help with anything uh, or have questions about anything. All right, so let me finish up these last two rounds. Uh, I'll post uh, the details of the circuit in this post. Uh, but have a wonderful day. Happy Tuesday. Every day, guys, just get better at something, right? Career-wise, health-wise, relationship-wise, financial-wise, something. Get better every single day, all right? The mantra of Coach Bobby is always BTY, right? Better than yesterday. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.